What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Since I released the videos on hosting a UMod Valheim server, a vanilla Valheim server, and eventually a modded Valheim server, a lot of people have been asking me, how exactly do you go ahead and update your Valheim server? Well, that's exactly what I'll be showing you in this video. I'll be showing you how to do it to modded and vanilla versions of the games, as well as update those modded platforms. So let's begin at the very start, updating a vanilla Valheim server. Of course, if you've installed Valheim through Steam, all you have to do is open up Steam, then simply look for the Valheim server, click on it, and then click update. After the update is downloaded, your server will be up to date, and starting it up with your bat file or whatever you have will result in it working perfectly fine with up-to-date client versions of the game, you and your friends playing on it. Let's say you downloaded and installed the server using Steam CMD. No issue, all you have to do is run that command again, but make sure that you have app validate in it. So what do I mean? Well, let's go have a look. Over here, I have the dedicated server files and I have my run me launch, etc. here, but I also have a Steam CMD file. This is an official alternate to the actual Steam client that we can run on the command line and manage games or servers from. So what exactly do you need to do to update your server? Well, simply open up a command prompt window in the exact same folder as the one with Steam CMD by clicking at the top and typing in CMD, then hitting enter. After it pops up, type in Steam CMD plus login anonymous. And then if you chose to install it to a different directory when you did it originally, go ahead and enter plus force underscore install underscore dir space, and then followed by the installation directory, say C server. Of course, if you didn't install it to a separate directory, like I haven't, then you can leave this out. It really just depends on the command that you ran when you installed the server the first time around. You need to make sure Steam CMD is in the same location it was originally when you downloaded and installed the server and running the same command will go ahead and update the game files as long as you have plus app underscore update space followed by the game's code 896660 space validate. This last little bit is incredibly important as it'll run through the existing files and see if they're different to the latest version on the server. If they are, it'll go ahead and download updated versions of the files and your server will therefore update. Simply hitting enter from here will go ahead and update your server, but do make sure that if you included a force install directory that you do that once again now. So now that we know how to update the vanilla version of a Valheim server, what about say UMod? Well, it's a popular server-side modding platform, which quite a few people are using. Referring to the UMod page for Valheim, we'll see install instructions over here. This is of course assuming that you downloaded and installed the UMod client as well. If you don't know any of this that I'm talking about, check the description down below for videos on this. But if you've installed the Valheim server using this command, all you have to do is follow the steps here to update it. So UMod update hyphen P in the same folder as your game. So all we have to do is CMD in the same directory as our game server, then type in UMod space update space hyphen p and hit enter. This will go ahead and update not only UMod, but also our server files as well. Simply just waiting for completion, we'll make sure everything's up to date. Awesome. And finally, if you installed mods using BEP in X, all you have to do is update your server using the vanilla method I showed you at the beginning of this video, then simply head across to the next link in the description down below, where you'll find the BEP in X official releases. Once again, we'll just be reinstalling it by dragging the files across without deleting anything and replacing the existing files. So find the latest release, then download the correct version for your setup, open up the zip file, and simply drag the files across once you've updated your server using the vanilla technique that I showed you at the beginning of this video. After doing this and replacing files, BEPNX is now up to date as well as your actual server itself. Of course, if mods need updates, you'll have to go ahead and download them separately by visiting the BEPNX plugins folder and seeing what you have installed here. It's a bit of a hassle, but I think there are a couple of mods out there that say that they can automatically update plugins for you. As for the reliability, I'm not too sure, but hey, they do exist. Anyways, that is how to update your Valheim dedicated server, not only the vanilla version, but also the server-side modding platform, UMod, as well as the client or server-side modding platform, BEP in X. Hopefully you found this video really useful. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!